Walt Disney once said, I believe that this spiritual and intellectual freedom, which we Americans enjoy, is our greatest cultural blessing. Therefore, it seems to me that the first duty of culture is to defend freedom and resist all tyranny. That celebration of freedom, which embodied so much of Disney's work, stands in jeopardy. Today's Disney is taking some dangerous and destructive political positions around the world. Red China is one of the most oppressive nations on Earth. It is also, by the way, an enemy of the United States of America. Uh, but if you're Hollywood and you want to make a lot of money and you want to go to that market, all you have to do is genuflect before them and ask them what's the censorship they would like and then Disney self-censors itself. Then it will turn around in the United States and talk about how it is committed to free expression. Um, the hypocrisy is stunning. They desperately want to crack the Chinese marketplace. It's a booming market. There are lots and lots of theaters, more opening all the time. And if an American film goes to China, opens and opens big, you're talking millions and millions of dollars. So in order to appease that market, you cut out scenes that are existing in the American films to make sure that the censors aren't angry about them. Why is it that Disney can put this this, this gay agenda, shoving it down our throats in the United States of America. When they, when they send their movies over to China, they cut those scenes. When they send their movies to the Middle East, they cut those scenes. One of the frustrations I have as, a, as an entertainment reporter and film critic is that sometimes actors, celebrities, even studios will be very aggressive in them. They want to use their voice and their clout to send a message to maybe change some things. Yet when the product goes overseas and the overseas countries are committing human rights abuses or, or conducting cultural experiments, that, that activism just goes away. There is drama at Disney over its latest release of Mulan. In the credits of the film, Disney thanks controversial government agencies in China's Xinjiang province. That's where reportedly more than one million Muslims are being held in concentration camps. The Yuga region is where they slave labor camps, where they are exterminating people, and they're Muslims. Yeah, you see the hypocrisy, and Disney goes along with it, because it's money. There's a billion and a half Chinese. What does that actually do? When Disney repeatedly critiques alleged injustice here in the United States, without saying a peep about actual human rights atrocities abroad, to the contrary, actually lying prostrate in front of their Chinese overlords. From Hong Kong to South Korea, people were shocked to see an American company so closely aligned with the Chinese government. They called for boycotts among cries for freedom and democracy. And it is one of the most despicable aspects of the new Disney. And it is this kowtowing to uh, communist China, to totalitarian regimes, jettisoning, uh, you know, American values and, uh, and, and basically aiding and abetting the worst kind of genocide that was going on against the Uy Uyghurs. So Xi Jinping in China has built a great wall, a great Chinese wall that says that you can't enter the Chinese market if you criticize the CCP. But here's the dirty little secret. If you critique the United States, we'll roll out the red carpet to you. As Disney draws attention to past injustices in the United States, they were accused of racially doctoring their own marketing material overseas. Non-white actors in Chinese posters for Star Wars The Force Awakens were eliminated or diminished. Lead black actor John Boyega was vastly reduced on the poster for China. Fans of the Star Wars series are complaining that the Chinese poster for the latest film is racist. So let's take a look at why. Well, it's certainly disturbing that Disney would take a black character off of a, a poster because it was going to China. And they felt that uh, it was inappropriate for reasons that escape me, quite frankly. <laughs> When you think about the, the poster incident with John Boyega kind of being shrunk or kind of diminished, it should, be, it should be part of the conversation. And I think if you're Disney and you care about human rights and you care about you know, progress and social justice, and you talk about it in certain arenas, in certain states, with certain legislation, and then you ignore bigger issues, 
it just shows that there's an inauthenticity that's behind the scenes. It's exactly not inclusion. <laughs>